So I want to talk about inflammation and how it progresses and eventually becomes or causes you, you I want to say, when I say you, I mean anybody, to eventually develop diabetes, strokes, heart disease, and so on and so forth. So forth. All those are uh, what we call the West diseases of the Western world. Um, not to say that they've not been in the third world as well, but their, the preponderance is certainly much more in, in the Western world. And for that matter, it's even worse among black people who are living in the Western world. And I'm going to explain that uh, in a few minutes, and of course, I, I think you can understand where I'm going to with that. But let's just look at the timeline. So you're born, that's what zero, zero stands for, zero years. You're born here, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. Usually it's around after the age of 40 that you begin to, things actually begin to break down. So that's when you, your sight is not like it used to be. And then uh, sex life, um, your, your, your menses, if you're a woman, begin to get, become irregular and so on and so forth. So that's when things actually begin to start really breaking down. Now, 20s, your early 20s are when you're, you're at the peak, you're at your prime, your natural physical prime. You don't have, most people don't have any health issues. Um, that's when the brain has reaches full development. So your prefrontal cortex, the front part of the brain, that's when it's fully developed. And so you're supposed to be mature by the age of 25. And then things tend to plateau and just re remain stable, uh, especially from the age of 30, or all the way to the age of 30, excuse me. So from 25 to about 30, your physical strength, your height, your has already established your ability to think quickly and all that, your brain for capacity. They've reached their zenith and then they are plateauing and they're kind of like legs be stable. And then from 30, things begin to create the gradual descent. They begin to start going south. And of course, by 40, that's when you start having issues. I mean, I remember, I think it was when I was 42, 43, when my sight began to have issues. Uh, I hate to, I hate to confess that, but that's, that's life. So, this is the progress. What we now know is that inflammation, and if you haven't watched our videos on inflammation, please do so, but inflammation begins to set in a lot earlier than we think. Um, some say in the, from the age of 20, begin to see uh, uh, the signs of atherosclerosis, which means that the inner lining of your blood vessels begin to get inflamed and begin to form plaques and scar tissue. And you know that's not a good thing, right? Because the more you have that, you have the less uh, the less healthy your blood vessels are, and therefore there's a greater tendency for there to be buildup in the inner lining of the blood vessels and therefore blockage to blood flow. That's especially bad in the heart and in the brain. And that's eventually what leads to strokes in many cases. So 20s and 30s, I can't think we've, we've kind of done um, giving you the overview. My point, my point is this, with black people, they're beginning to see those early those signs of deterioration even earlier than the general population. They're beginning to see them earlier, like in the late teens, right? And so by reason of time, pretty much, if something starts earlier, you're definitely begin, going to begin to see these problems appear earlier in life. And that's exactly what happens. You see people, um, ladies who have breast cancer, black ladies tend to have breast cancer earlier and it's more aggressive and it's more, uh, more fatal than white people. Treatment is also more difficult. Same thing with prostate cancer, where is it cancer that in men, prostate, men with prostate cancer tend to have, have it earlier in blacks than in, in whites. I give you the example of Creflo Dollar, the famous um, black preacher, and also a doctor, uh, Dr. Ben Carson. How could I forget? Dr. Ben Carson, who, is, who was my idol for many years, as a medical student, and he, they both have their prostate cancer before the age of 40. Uh, same thing with lung disease and other things. So again, my point being this, with black people, things tend to deteriorate a lot quicker. One of the reasons, I'm not saying that's the only reason, but one of the reasons is that our vitamin D levels, and black people have the lowest amount of vitamin D in the world, and I've explained that in my other videos. Our vitamin D levels are low. Why, why is that important? Well, vitamin D is so crucial for everything from brain development to immune function to control of inflammation. If your vitamin D levels are low from beginning from childhood, that means that your ability to control inflammation will be low. The ability to function, your immune, fun your immune function will be low. And as we've said, 
during the winter time, so this is, this is uh, late, we're just entering November now, I, I feel this is very important that you take, take note of this. You are not going to be getting your vitamin D from food. You're not going to get much from sun either because it's the winter months, you're going to be indoors. Besides that, even if you are outdoors, the sun isn't going to be shining as much. And even if the sun, the sun was shining as much, you're not going to be stripping to your bikini and your swim trunks uh, in November or, or December. So yeah, it's highly unlikely you're going to get the required amount of vitamin D and it's so easy to supplement. Uh, I don't even know why there should be an argument about this. Please supplement and you need a, in the summer probably 5,000. In the winter you need about 10,000 at least. I take certainly more than 10,000. So, so my whole point with saying all this is that you need, you're probably in your 30s and 40s, you need, you're, you're probably low in vitamin D. This is a very good chance you're low in vitamin D. You need to start supplementing with vitamin D for the rest of your life. This should be a part of every black person's regimen so that we can reduce the likelihood and the incidence of these conditions. And if you, even if you do have these conditions, that's what we do with the Brain and Body Foundation. We, we, we find solutions to these, nutritional solutions to these. We don't, we don't treat them, but we find nutritional solutions to help your body um, overcome these conditions. But vitamin D is, as you can imagine, is certainly going to be a core, a found, foundational piece of our approach to these conditions. So please, inflammation, you've got to fight inflammation at all costs. Vitamin D is a key piece in that fight and in that struggle. God bless.